So I wanted to continue this talk about uh, what is 182 and what you can do with it. The big thing for me is exploration. So right now we're on our way to uh, Steamboat Springs, Colorado. We're uh, going across the Nevada desert at about 12,500 feet. Um, and we also have the ability in this plane to have the power to go over some of these really tall mountains, as well as um, have this, uh, what they call constant speed prop. Basically what it is is uh, allows the uh, prop to bite into the air. So let me just show you that. These controls before, here's the throttle. And in the 182s, they have the constant speed prop right in here. And this allows you to uh, pull this back. Now over in here, I'm going to pull this back a little bit. You're going to see my RPMs drop. I actually feel the engine bogging down too as that propeller bites into the air. And usually I don't want to quite that much around uh, 2400 RPMs. We've got our manifold pressure right here. Usually that uh, must be lower. So it takes a little bit of training. Up this valley is Eli directly to the north here. And again, Nevada is just famous for these peaks that are 10,000 feet or higher where we have to climb over them. And we want to make sure that we have enough power in case it's windy. Uh, particularly, I was worried about downdrafts on the back side of these, on the leeward side. So far, so good. Another feature that uh, folks might want is how fast can you go in a 182? This is a six-cylinder engine. You could go, uh, I guess you can cruise usually 130 knots, 135 knots. So that's around 150 miles an hour. We're going um, in a climb right now about 139. It looks like we're even getting a little speed here. I think that's because of the tailwind I'm starting to get here at 13.5. A couple GPS units here. This is a old school Garmin 430 with the WAS, which is a wide area augmentation system. It's a more accurate system. And then also over in here, I've got kind of the old school GPS. It also gives me, you know, an alternative and it also gives me the ground speed right now, right now over here. Looking again at some of the more modern controls. This is the ADSB out. What does that mean? Automatic detection surveillance broadcast. So folks can see me on their iPad or on their GPS, if they have, you know, ADS-B in, mine has both in and out. We're just squawking VFR right now because we're not in a military operation area. It's not necessary for flight following. And um, normally I would put a squawk code in here if I were talking to air traffic controllers or ATC for short. And I just can punch the numbers in here. And this is really useful to uh, be able to broadcast my position to others and to see the aircraft on the iPad as well as the Garmin 430. Um, if I turn this back on again, uh, it would show me traffic if I have that toggled on. Okay, so uh, right now I don't see any. So anyway, um, here we are climbing out of Ridgefield. Our altitude was, uh, it's almost 9,000 feet right now. And so the Cessna 182 with the larger engine is still climbing at 500 feet per minute which is pretty good for a single prop plane. We also have terrain in front of us here. Not too bad for Utah, but again, that's something that I really wanted when I bought a 182 was to have that climb power, not only for the usable weight, because this can hold over a thousand pounds, so if I have my entire family in here, but also if there's just a couple of us with some gear, it's got some great climb out, even here at 9,000 feet. Just kind of looking out the window, you can see it's high plateau. It's hard to believe that uh, we're at 9,000 feet and climbing. But, you know, Utah has these very high mountains, and we're starting to get some turbulence. And here we're about ready to arrive at Steamboat Springs, Colorado, over 650 miles from Auburn, California. So we just came back from Steamboat Springs. Actually, to be honest, it was Richfield. And so this is, uh, we're gonna see how much gas it is. We were up for four hours and 10 minutes. So we just put in 48 gallons, and that was for a little over four hours fuel. 
It's a hundred low lead and self serve here in California. Uh, and so, you know, uh, I don't just figure five dollars a gallon roughly these days. So, five times 50, I can do that. In my head that's like 250 bucks to go to. I think we went 400 nautical miles, four hours, well, over 400 nautical miles. I don't know how far it was. Anyway, 